Does your breakfast look like this? Or like this? I'm watching you. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm still here. I'm still here. Mm -mm -mm. Ideally, we need to have protein and fat in our breakfast. Since fat and protein will keep us full and satiated longer and keep our insulin or blood sugar levels stable. If you have a high carbohydrate breakfast without protein or fat, yes, you will have a quick energy spike, but soon after you will have a big crash and you will be hungry after a couple hours after eating. That's why there's so many people snacking all the time. Whereas if you start your day with fat and protein, you will have consistent energy for so many hours without needing to snack all the time. Which, come on, it's super annoying and not convenient. We're always on the go. We need our energy. We can't be thinking about food 24-7. And your health will thank you. You need to know how each macronutrient affects your insulin, your blood sugar levels, your health. We're gonna go through each macronutrient. No worries, it's super easy. I know in the beginning it can look a little intimidating, but I promise you, it's super easy. So let's look at the graph. And when we say macronutrients, we mean carbs, protein, and fat. So if we look at the graph, we are gonna see that once we eat carbs, the blood insulin spike is pretty high. And then there is a sudden crash and that energy won't last long. Whereas if we have protein and fat, the spike is not as big, which is good. And look, it's quite stable for a long time as hours pass by. Anything that is going to spike our blood sugar levels pretty fast is not good. A lot of energy coming really fast is not good for the body. Also, since your blood sugars are gonna go down very fast, you're gonna feel tired, lethargic, and hungry in no time. Not to mention all the other health problems that come with this. And this doesn't mean you shouldn't have carbs at all. But you have to be conscious about the amount of carbs you're eating and whether you're having carbs alone or with fat and protein, which will buffer that spike. I always recommend if you're gonna have carbs, always, always with fat and protein. Also limit the quantity. Are you having two cups of pasta and then this tiny bit of protein? That's when problems arise. We don't want a big spike and then a crash. That's not ideal. We want blood sugars that are stable. 